Hello YouTube, this is Sonic2Gecka here, and welcome back to another Python video. In this video, we're going to talk about functions with arguments, or parameters, or extra information, whatever you would like to call it. And basically, this gives a function some extra information that it can use to help it function. So, you can give a function your name, and it could return your name, which is the example we're going to use in this tutorial, or it could take your age, and return your age, which we might also include, or whatever other information you want to give. Like if you want to make a game where you attack a monster, you would probably need to give that function the player's level, so it can determine how much XP to give the player, depending on its level. If you want to do stuff like that, but functions with arguments are very useful. So we're going to leave this function that we have up here for now, because it's a perfectly fine function, and we're going to make a new function underneath it and call it def uh, say hello function and it's going to take the name now whenever a function oh whoa lag probably because it's exporting um whenever a function takes information you can have it like this you can have the information just as a placeholder name you can have it so you can have it like this or you can have it like this whatever one you want i prefer it like this because it's easier to read and it's more pythonic which means the code is more like python code so we're gonna say print name and then we're going to say hello function name and we're going to give it even and it's going to say hello world because we're calling this one. There we go, uploaded. Sorry, my fans are going crazy. It's just they like to go mad whenever stuff's exporting. Uh, so it calls the hello world function first. It prints hello world and then it goes on to the next line, which is say hello function. We give it Eamon as the name and then it prints the name. So what is name? Well, name is like a variable and it's a placeholder uh, for the value that you're going to provide. So here I provide Eamon as the value for name and then everywhere in the function where name is used it is substituted for whatever we pass in up here for the value of name which just happens to be the string Eamon. This could be another function if we wanted. This could be a variable or this, this could be whatever in Python but that's another topic for another tutorial. So for now just know that in Python, a function can take a extra piece of information, and if that's used, if used in the function, it will be substituted for the value that you pass in. Right now, we only have one argument, but if we say age, and then we say print age, then it'll say it takes two arguments, but we only give it one, which is Eamon. So, whenever you're passing in values, Giving a value to a placeholder in a function is known as passing in a value. So whenever we pass in the value aimin or give the function the value aimin, it goes in order of how they are declared. So since the first argument and the only argument we're passing currently is aimin, and the first argument in the function is name, then name will be given the value aimin. So if we give it 14 as the value, and we print the age, which is 14, age will be substituted anywhere in the function for 14, since that is the value we passed in. Makes sense? I hope it does, because this is another very important topic that will be used all throughout Python coding. So again, to recap, we just define our function as usual. Watch the next tutorial. Watch the last tutorial, if you don't really know how this works, because I explained it there. And then inside the parentheses, we put in two placeholder values, name and age, and then we use them in this function. We print them out in this function, and then whenever we call it, we pass in values for those variables. Because technically they are variables because their value changes. So anywhere in the function that name is used, it will be substituted for aimin, because that's the value we pass in for name, and age will be substituted in the same way 
for 14 since we declare age will have the value 14 and then that's used as 14 anywhere in the function. So thank you for watching, hopefully this tutorial made sense, if it didn't uh, leave a comment and I will try to help you. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the tutorial and you learned something or if someone you know learned something or if it helped you or anyone in any way be sure to leave some feedback for me to inspire me to make more tutorials on anything on videos in general be sure to, to subscribe if you haven't already because i'm intending to keep this series going for a while but uh thank you for watching my name is santuka and i will see you in the next tutorial